Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Empty Lifestyle. Check out that view. We are currently in Cozumel, Mexico, and I'm gonna be doing a review on the Orca Torch D570 dive light. Let's open it up and check it out. So we don't have the hard case that we're accustomed to with the last couple dive lights that we've done for Orca Torch. This is more of just a regular packaging that you would see at a store for anything, but that's okay because we don't really care about the hard cases. We only care about the product itself. So opening this light, we see that it looks like they have a list of their other products that they carry. There is a warranty card, operator's manual, We have two rechargeable batteries for this dive light. I'm noticing that they're using the same type of rechargeable battery for their dive lights. The 18650 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. So if you buy a couple of different lights, then you just got a lot more batteries of the same kind, which is also good. You have a lanyard for your wrist, three spare O-rings. Another thing I want to point out with these little charging stations that they have for the Orca Torch rechargeable battery dive lights is you have a USB cable and then you'll have the charging station itself. But they don't come with these little electrical boxes. So what you want to do is you want to go out and buy a couple of these so you have one for each Orca Torch dive light. And then you can just plug it in and you have a full charging setup ready to go for each dive light. Now remember, certain Orca Torch dive lights, they take the same batteries. So if you're taking a couple Orca Torch dive lights, then technically you only need one of these because they take the same batteries. And of course the light itself. Open up the light, just twist. There's two O-rings on this one. It's still rated for 150 meters, which is over 492 feet deep. Battery goes in there, positive side up. Now this is a thousand lumen flashlight with a laser that's also built into this light. A green laser that has an 1,000 meter reach. To be able to operate the light, we look at, there's a titanium alloy pressure switch right here. If you wanna hold it down, you will see the laser right there. That's from holding down the button. To be able to turn the light on, we hit it twice, and we get one good solid beam. To turn that beam off, we hold it, press it down twice, and it turns the light off. If you want, you can even have the light on and have the laser at the same time, but that doesn't really make sense in my opinion. So turn the light off to use the laser to point out what you're looking at. You could show your dive buddies, look, check it out, I found this critter, look in this area right here. If you're a dive instructor, you can point out things to your students. If you're trying to play with your household pets, you can do that as well as we were doing right now. Check this video out. Are you a kitty? All the details about this Orca Torch dive light will be also posted in the description below. Now that we went over some of the details about the Orca Torch D570 dive light, let's go in the water and get wet and put it to some use. So we're going to be diving with Julian, one of the dive guides at Dressel Divers here at a Barrow Star in Cozumel. They have three boats, Aqua 1, 2, and 3. Let's get in the water and test out this light. So it's very sunny down here in Cozumel, and there's a lot of great clarity in the water. So I go down, and I'm looking underneath some reef to test out the laser, where it's a little darker. There are some fish that are attracted to the laser because they think it's food, and there are some that just don't even care. 
one of the things I noticed while checking out this light was you might not see something that's hiding underneath the reef. So after you're done scanning with your flashlight, if you turn on your laser, you might be surprised what comes out and checks it out, like this pork fish. While scanning the reef with the laser, I had a little spotted drum reveal itself, so I was able to get in and get some video of it thanks to the laser. But how does the Orca Torch D570 green laser light work in low visibility, thicker, muddier, mucky dive waters? Well, here is some footage from Puget Sound, Washington. Yes, we have some really poor visibility. I'm showing you what the laser does, picking up all the sediment in the water. You're able to see that laser beam versus very clear water, like down in Cozumel. I'm showing you what I'm pointing the laser at before I retrieve these old relics, these old trade tokens. We're down here. We're just looking for some old relics. We're looking for some old bottles and some old trade tokens. Uh, the light is so bright. It's able to shine that shimmer on the glass bottles so we can recover them even if they're encrusted in barnacles. And here's some pictures of the items that we ended up finding. Um, and then I'm going to show you there's trade tokens right here. And there's also a couple of bottles that we found using the light. And here they are cleaned up after some muriatic acid. You can also use vinegar. But this is not a treasure hunting video. Let's get back to the light in Cozumel. During the daytime, there's many boats and many groups of divers out here on the reefs in Cozumel. But this light, it's a thousand lumens, it actually has a good amount of reach that you can search underneath the coral with it. One of the creatures that we ended up coming across and spotting was a splendid toadfish. These guys are amazing. They sound like a cell phone vibrating underwater. Now we're taking the Orca Torch D570 on a night dive. You can see it's got a very strong beam on it, searching the area in these little cracks and crevices. It's a thousand lumens. This light is absolutely strong and amazing. So one of the very primary uses I love about these Orca Torch dive lights and how strong they are is I like to search for critters with them. Once I find a critter, I can put the light away and pull out my camera to take my footage. While searching with the D570 dive light, I ended up coming across a really cool fish. This fish right here is a honeycomb cowfish. I don't recommend using the light to light up your subjects while you're taking any photographs or video of your subjects. The light is too bright. You will wash out your images of the subject. Instead, use the light to find your subjects and then once you found your subject put the light away and grab your camera and use the lighting for your camera even in the daytime it's a great light to search for subjects out in the open it's strong enough once you see movement you swim on down to your subject and then you use your camera lights to get your awesome shots If you don't normally carry a dive light with you on daytime dives, you need to change that. Go out and buy an Orca Torch dive light. These lights are strong and amazing, and they're relatively inexpensive. Go out and look for critters with these dive lights, even on daytime dives. You never know what you might find, just like how Julian used his Orca Torch dive light to find this Nurk shark hiding in a hole. So we just wrapped up some diving down here in Cosmo. What a great location. I recommend everybody to come down here and dive this destination at least once in your life. And we had the pleasure of doing a product review. Thank you, Orca Torch. This is the D570 green laser dive light. A thousand lumens with a green laser. Well, I mean, this is amazing. What a great product, especially for dive guides or instructors that want to be able to say like, hey, check it out. There's a critter down here in this hole. Oh, you can't see it? Let's just turn on the light so you can see it, you know? And then let your divers go out and take their pictures or videos of whatever you're pointing out to them. Um, I would definitely consider this a great primary light. Now, of course, it could also be a, pr a backup light, you know, and I have it attached to this little retractable cable. That's just my preference on how I attach equipment to me. But 
Um, I think this is a great light. I really recommend everybody trying. And it's $160. That ain't really too bad on price. If you check the description below, you'll see all the details about this light along with the link so you can go on Amazon and buy this light. Now, stay tuned. At the end of this clip, you're going to see some of the amazing creatures we saw in our diving down here in Cozumel. And then click and watch the next video. Thank you, Orca Torch. I really appreciate it. This is the D570 green laser dive light. Take care, everybody.